Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lark and my book this week is called Sarah's Sick Day and it was given to me by the parents who organize Red Ribbon Week. You may be wondering what does Sarah's Sick Day have to do with Red Ribbon Week or we're talking about staying safe and drug free. Well, let's find out and figure it out together. All right, this book is written by Irina Winnett and the pictures are by Abira Das. So here we go. Sarah's sick day. Sarah woke up one morning with a sore throat and a fever. Her mom said that Sarah needed to stay home from school. Sarah didn't want to miss school. It was share day. It was her favorite day of the week. She would miss sharing her new birthday doll. She would miss snack time with her friend Grace. She would also miss story time. And today was her turn to sit on the bean bag. Sarah decided she needed some medicine. If she took medicine, she would feel well enough to go to school. Sarah asked her mom for some medicine to help her feel better. Medicine won't help you get to school today, sweetheart. We'll call the doctor and see what she says, Sarah's mom explained. She led Sarah back to bed, tucked her in, and then went downstairs to the kitchen to call the doctor. Sarah really wanted to go to school. She knew there was medicine in the bathroom cabinet. Maybe she could take just a little bit before her mom got back from the kitchen. Then she would feel better and be able to go to school. Do you think this is a good idea? Mm. Sarah tiptoed to the bathroom. She opened the cabinet and peeked inside. I can just take a little sip of this purple stuff and then I'll feel all better. Then mommy will let me go to school. Sarah thought to herself as she reached for the bottle. She tried twisting the cap, but it seemed to be stuck. She twisted it again, but realized it was locked. Just then, her mom came back upstairs. Sarah, what are you doing? Medicine is dangerous for kids. Sarah's mom rushed into the bathroom and grabbed the bottle out of Sarah's hands. I just, I mean, I, I thought, Sarah stammered. She knew medicine made people feel better, but obviously her mom thought she was doing something wrong. Do you think she did something wrong? I'm sorry, Mommy. I just wanted to feel better and go to school. Sarah's eyes filled with tears that spilled over her warm red cheeks. Her mother scooped Sarah into her arms and hugged her close. Then she walked her daughter back to her bedroom and told her to climb into bed. Sarah, it's very dangerous to take medicine by yourself. You need an adult to help you know how much medicine to take. Too much medicine, even if it's the right kind, can make you very sick. Okay, whispered Sarah. She felt kind of embarrassed. She was glad she hadn't been able to open the bottle of purple medicine. Even though medicine bottles are hard for kids to open, Sarah's mom decided it would be safest to keep them in a locked cabinet. She told Sarah that she must never again try to get medicine by herself. Sarah promised her mom 
that she would never take medicine without a grown-up's help. Sarah was sad to be missing school, but she was glad she hadn't made herself even sicker by taking too much medicine. Sarah curled up in bed with her mom with her new birthday doll. She was feeling really yucky and it felt good to lie down. She knew her mom would take good care of her. That felt better than any medicine. All right, boys and girls, what did you think of the story? Do you think that Sarah made a good choice trying to get the medicine by herself? No. And that's really one of the pieces of what Red Ribbon Week is all about. Medicine is important and medicine is helpful, but it needs to be the right kind of medicine, the right amount, and it needs to be handled by adults. So hopefully you'll remember that, especially if you're not feeling well and you need some medicine to feel better. Don't ever do it by yourself. Always get an adult to help you and that adult will make sure it's what the doctor ordered. All right, everyone, have a fabulous day, and I hope you really enjoyed all the special activities during Red Ribbon Week. Thank you, everyone.